Oh, Steve, welcome to Fratton Park. You, you, you've been around the block, been, been at some of the biggest football clubs. How does it feel to wind up on Fratton Park's doorstep? Well, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a real exciting, I hope, an interesting journey. You know, fascinated by the concept of the, the supporters actually owning the club in an age where you see uh, so many outsiders, if I could call them that, owning football clubs. I think it, it's terrific to see supporters first and foremost caring about the club to save it and then trying to progress it forward into the future to compete against you know so many benevolent millionaires who look after other clubs. As a true football man it must have saddened you to see how the plight of Portsmouth has unfolded over the last few years. Yeah again a legacy I suppose of, of outsiders coming in and, and running football clubs and you know I've, I've said for many years now that uh, owning a uh, a big club in England makes you worldwide famous and I think people uh, look at that sometimes and, and the club loses direction. I think obviously that's happened here. But the people who care, the only loyalty in football now is supporters for their own clubs. So the people who care are the supporters and they're the ones who, who, who brought this club back from, from the mire. And uh, hopefully now... Um, progress forward. It's not going to be an overnight success, I think all the supporters know that, but uh, I think given time, given commitment, and there is so much commitment here, then I'm sure success will come. You worked with Richie at Crawley, H how would you describe your partnership and relationship? Uh, he does all the work, and <laughs> which is basically, uh, he's the manager, you know, I, I, I'm the helper. Uh, I'm quite happy now just to help and, and, and support. Um, I love being involved with the football. It's you know it's part of my DNA, I suppose, going back from when I was 19 years of age. Yeah. So it, it, it's a fix which works for me. So to be involved here, it's such a uh, potentially big club. And I don't like the word potential in football, but potentially big club. Uh, as I say, it's exciting. Had you worked with him before Crawley, or did, uh, how did you come across each other? No, well, uh, in my role at Crawley. Uh, I, I got Richie to the club, brought Richie to the club, so uh, initially started off, I was just sort of seeing him get his feet under the table and be comfortable at Crawley, but it just progressed from there really, it's, uh, you know, as I say, he's the engine room, he's the manager, he picks the teams, he does all the training, you know, I'm just a helper, a supporter, they give me a grand title of director of football, but I most certainly am not director of football, I'm just, as I say, a helper somebody with experience and if anybody at the club you know from the board down would like uh, to listen to my experience then great because I, I feel it as if I can help yeah and when you look at what you've what you've done in football and, and where you've played has that gone by in a flash when you when you look back at it now well, I try not to look back you know if you're ever looking back at your career you're not going to go anywhere and I still feel that you know there are things I'd like to do this is the immediate challenge come here to go 27 games this season how many points can we got from those 27 games can can the team improve can yet I and Richie help improve the team you know and that is the challenge now I, I try not to look back I try to look forward because that's that's what life is about but you obviously study football you're a student of football um, do you look at, like Richie at the team and think uh, maybe it could have done better could be higher well, personally, I, I really don't know because I haven't, I haven't seen them live as yet. And, you know, that's part of my learning process over the next couple of weeks to try and assess the players, the squad, and, and myself and Richie, you know, in terms of the direction the squad's going to take in the future. I think it's important that people have an opportunity. I think everyone at the moment, it's a blank page, and they have an opportunity to, to show the manager what they can do.